so good evening thanks to the organizers and thanks to the moderator and chairpersons previous speakers co speakers medical management of diabetic food Diabetic food is one of the most neglected complication in the field of diabetology. In a single line, it is a surgical complication of the medical disease. So, in this particular case, coming to our OP, what you are going to do? Random blood sugar 567, HbA1c 14.5%, severely foul smelling. See, <clears throat> in the right foot, there was altered biomechanics on all the toes. Having some anatomical changes and uh, right great toe, there is a small hematoma, and uh, all the left toes, uh, clotohematos, and there was a severe infected foot in the left midfoot, and the infection extended up to all the lateral toes. So, you are going to start the insulin, or you are going to start the IV antibiotics initially, or you are going to call the next speaker, Dr. Manisha. Surgeon. So, what is the blood sugar level in severely infected diabetic foot ulcer cases? In this case, the this is high blood sugar when we checked in the glucometer. The calibration is up to 600. So, the value is more than 600. This is a HbA1c instrument. Only calibration is only up to 16 percent. So, HbA1c is also more than 16 percent and when we put the sample in the analyzer, the blood sugar was 794. If high blood sugar, always check urine uh, ketone bodies and if positive, uh, treat this patient as a diabetic ketoacidosis initially and if negative, always start basal bolus insulin and even with HbA1c of somewhat around 7, 7.58, we have to give minimum dose of insulin. Insulin is not simply reduced for uh, reducing the blood sugar level. We can consider the pleomorphic effects of insulin also. Next comes the swelling, edema. <clears throat> Every diabetic foot swelling is not infection. This is a bilateral swelling. Always think of initially heart failure and drug induced. If amlodipine in hypertensive patients or in diabetic patients in pyoglitazone and we have to think of anemia and hyperproteinemia and altered renal parameters. In this case, patient came with left foot swelling, there was a clear cut abscess and simultaneously there was a swelling in the right foot also, patient not bother about this. When we detailed examined the right foot there was a chronic non-healing ulcer because of severe neuropathy patient don't have any symptoms while taking the x-ray there was an osteomyelitis in the fourth mtp joint and swelling unilateral we have to consider if it is infection and inflammation if it is infection cellulitis and abscess with or without foreign body osteomyelitis and septic arthritis and regarding this inflammation, gout and rheumatoid arthritis and we have to rule out DVT. So, this is a case of left foot swelling unilateral, cellulitis properly treated swelling reduced. In this case, left leg cellulitis proper management, leg swelling reduced treated. So, this is a clear cut case of abscess, right dorsum of the foot. In this case, all the signs of infection is there. Patient coming with pain over the left dorsum of the foot and there was a uh, redness and swelling and its warmth and it severe tenderness is there. So, regarding the management part, anemia in severely anemic always give blood or that is packed cell transfusion and if it is a moderate iron IV preparation and if it is mild oral hematinics. Regarding hypoproteinemia management <coughs> diet, first is vegetable proteins and animal proteins, simply egg white and 
in severely hypoalbuminemia we have to give the albumin infusion regarding the uh, this is the albumin infusion and advice to stop alcohol in male patients and regarding the infection the previous speaker nicely discussed about the infection part and regarding the osteomyelitis next speaker is going to give a detailed talk <clears throat> always you need a little edema with warmth always think of early acute charcot this is some of the early acute charcot cases this is a bilateral charcot excessos clear cut osteoarthropathy and management initially bed rest and use non weight bearing crutches immobilization with a total cotton cast for minimum 2 to 3 months use bisphosphonates to prevent bone damage finally special shoes and insoles to prevent ulceration non infective diabetic foot ulcer no need of antibiotics already discussed regular sterile dressing and offloading for plantar ulcer and with other supportive measures this is a <coughs> chronic non healing ulcer left head of the first metatarsal x-ray was normal callus removed and with the proper offloading wound completely cured this is a web space fungal infection always check patient didn't tell anything this is a case of <coughs> web space fungal infection with a secondary bacterial infection with the properly treated wound completely cured how we manage it in case of mild topical antifungal creams like tolnoctate and clotrimicel and severe cases oral antifungal agents like terfenafin or itraconazole for minimum 2 to 6 months we have to check the liver function test x-ray is amassed to rule out osteomyelitis <coughs> this is a chronic non healing ulcer for 6 months x-ray shows osteomyelitis This is a recent case. There was a widening of the first web space. There was a swelling. Initially, we thought it is an abscess. X-ray shows osteomyelitis. This is the osteomyelitis case. Medical management. Chronic non-healing ulcer in the right head of the second metatarsal. <coughs> there was a swelling in the base of the right second toe, and there was an interconnection between the plantar ulcer and the second web space. X-ray shows osteomyelitis. Patient not willing for amputation. So hospitalized for three months. IV antibiotics, complete bed rest, bed rest, bed rest. Wound completely cured without amputation. This is a case of severe peripheral vascular disease. Uh, CT peripheral angiosos. There was a thrombus occlusion. 3.5 cm in the papillary artery so no medical management only surgical intervention uh, we did the after surgical intervention transmetatarsal amputation was done and always check the footwear the next speaker is going to give a talk on footwear initially 3 years back patient purchased this chapel advised to change it once in 3 months and this is a final case interesting case <clears throat> there was a swelling over the left foot base of the sec left and right second toe ulcer when i examined the footwear can you say patient himself designed his own footwear uh, because the chapel is frequently slipped off from his feet so patient want a iron grip so patient designed his own chapel and finally ended up with big problem and finally wound completely cured so <clears throat> management admission foot and elevation basic investigation x ray is supposed blood sugar control and anemia correction edema swelling correction infection previous speaker told anti fungal and osteomyelitis and regarding other management <clears throat> multivitamin antioxidants and in case of severe painful diabetic neuropathy pregabalin gabapentin duloxetine peripheral vascular disease <coughs> statin clopidogrel aspirin with low molecular heparin and dry skin use moisturizer this is a final slide during the peak covid time patient came with this type of picture not wearing the mask <laughs> instead of that 
patient hearing this <laughs> thank you thank you for your patience hearing thank you